Welcome to OC Donut Steel with my husband, <laughs> the artist. The artist formerly known as OC Donut Steel. Uh, okay. I'm starting to think that the name OC Donut Steel uh -huh. is too complicated to explain to people when I tell them about the channel. Like I have to give them the spelling, it's like kind of a bad play on words. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. We might stick with it, might not. We might. Yeah. So what are you up to today? I am watching you draw. Oh, oh look at this. <laughs> so it looks like we're drawing some strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange today. This is another part of the page that had uh, Thanos on it. You can see that mm -hmm. in the right. And we just right. did a video of that. Yeah, we just talked about that one. Yeah. Um, you can't see it at home, but for your benefit, Alana, there is the finished piece. Oh. You can see it. Uh, so what are your thoughts on Doctor Strange, if any? Uh, Doctor Strange, I, I like him. Um, you know, it's one of those bad guys gone good, uh, much like Tony Stark, which it's funny that they don't really get along. Yeah. It was com it was confusing to me at first when you said bad guy gone good. I was like bad guy. He was a surgeon. Yeah, but he was like a pompous surgeon that was really just in it for himself. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he didn't take all the cases that he should have. He took the ones that would make him look good. Right. So, or he wouldn't take he wouldn't do surgeries if he thought he would fail. Right. Was that part of it? Right. Um, or if he didn't make a lot of money off. Of oh, okay. The money thing for sure. That's, yeah. That was very clear to me. Yeah. But that movie, Doctor Strange, I've never been like a huge Doctor Strange fan as a comic fan. Mm -hmm. uh, I always thought it was kind of a dull character. Why, well, you don't like them when they're like... Oh no, I like that. I like it when you, <laughs> it's like you have to do telekinesis or some other power and like uh -huh. you can't do it unless you move your hands. Like Magneto can't control magnets unless he goes... <laughs> and if the, mag if the metal is really big, he has to go... Oh, two hands! So I really especially like uh, powerful jewelry. So if, oh. if there's some kind of like magical jewelry piece, I'm uh -huh. probably about it. Like, oh, well that brings us back to Doctor Strange. Yeah, and Wonder Woman's choo choo. Yeah, because oh, this is my powerful jewelry right here. Uh-huh. My, my, se my seal, my commitment, <laughs> uh, my promise. But Doctor Strange, his powerful jewelry, do you know what it's called? Uh, I forget. It's like the time stone or something. Yeah, it's the time stone in the in the movie, but in the mm -hmm. comics, it's something different. It's not the time stone. They just call it the Eye of Agamotto. Oh, yeah, they called it the Eye of Agamotto in the yeah. movies too, I think. Which lets him see something? I'm not sure. It's an eye for some purpose. Lets him see into the future. Yeah, in the movie, but in the comic, I'm saying like it wasn't oh. it wasn't time power specific. Oh, okay. It was something else. Ah. But he also had that cloak of levitation. Yes. And he had a catchphrase. He would always say, by the hoary host of Hoggoth. The hoary host? Yeah. Like with a W? No, no. H-O-A-R-Y. Hoary. <laughs> okay. That's it's a real word. Look it up. That's better. Because I was like, he better not be slut shaming. That was, yeah. That was always Stan Lee's, uh, I would say, big contribution. When I was a kid and I read Stan Lee comics, I think, you know, this guy's got a pretty good vocabulary. Yeah. He would be bringing in these random words like that. Okay, well that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so I see there's not much emphasis on his jewelry in this. He's kind of doing one of these like, hmm. Yeah, he's doing like, I don't know if you could tell because it's so tiny. Right. But it's like a little magic finger steepling. Uh-huh. Open the doors. Is he trying to people... like control this wolf? Is that what's going on? He's here? riding the wolf for some reason. Oh, Again, okay. like I started this page before Infinity War came out. So maybe, maybe it was after Infinity War. But anyway, it was between the two movies, mm -hmm. and I was just thinking about what I wanted to see next, and I was like, it would be cool if Doctor Strange was riding a wolf. Yeah. But I don't think that happened. So Doctor Strange's costume is different than in the movie. Um, he does have that cloak, mm -hmm. but um, is this like a traditional comic book costume for him? Yeah, what you see here is closer to what you would see in the comics, especially the color scheme. Uh, I did, you know, it's, a little different, just every artist has their own like idiosyncrasies, so it's not perfect 100% accurate, but okay. it's like my version. That's cool. Yeah. And are you also doing uh, Copic's markers for the colors on this? I am. And you asked me before about why do you Copic's and then ink, right? You're curious about why go in that order? Yeah. Pencil, color, ink. That's what I do. Okay. And the reason for that is with these watercolor markers, 
uh, it'll it'll pick up like the ink is Speedball India ink. Mm -hmm. It's super black, but it's water soluble. So if you put watercolor markers on top of it, you'll start bleeding the black ink. Okay. So makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay. Cool. Well, um, so Doctor Strange looks like he's uh, thinking about something. Like he's like, "Time's up, Dormammu." Yeah. <laughs> You were asking me this earlier, who was the bad guy in the Doctor Strange movie? Because I yeah. told you, we're going to talk about Doctor Strange today, if you're willing. If you right, come on the right. show and talk about Doctor Strange. And I'm really bad with names, so I have to ask ahead of time. Well, you, you, that, that bit was so good in the movie. Remember, he has to go and just yeah. like bargain yeah. ad infinitum. Over and over and over. Keeps repeating yeah. it. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Yeah. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Is that what he said? Dormammu, I've come to bargain. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's very patient. Oh. You know. In, yeah. In Infinity War, I thought it was funny that he can't just like look in his future. He's got to be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looked through however many millions of alternate futures, mm -hmm. and there was only one that would bring him to the end game. Just one. Yeah. Although, I, I, I don't know. I mean, that's what they say, but there may have been other ways of doing it. Yeah, probably. Like, for instance, in my version, he shows up in the end game on a giant wolf. Okay. That's my thing. Another uh, comment on technique here, something else, I forgot my train of thought. Another thing that I'm doing here is I actually did three clips of this day. I shot this in 4K on a Caso V50 Pro, and I had, because it stops recording on an XFAT file system or FAT32 file system at four gigabytes. At 4K, you only get like eight, eight and a half minutes. Mm. So this is actually three clips of me drawing this earlier today yeah. that I stitched together and then double up the speed, uh, which again, you prefer, right? Yeah. You I, think I this love, looks better? I love watching faster speed drawing. But comment below if you're interested in me still putting up the raw footage because I have those uh, I have that footage. If you want to see just me drawing as slow as it takes, and again, let's let's uh, keep in mind how labor intensive comic art is, because this is like one sixth of the page. Mm -hmm. It's not done, so we'll say it's probably closer to one twelfth of the page. And I did basically half the work today on camera, and that was about twenty five minutes. So, but none of it is the like pencils. You've already got the pencils. You're just recording, inking, mm -hmm. and colors. Yeah, so I'm saying, imagine the pencils took another 25 mm -hmm. minutes, half an hour. Yeah. So that's like an hour, maybe an hour and a half for this panel time, six, maybe even seven. I mean, we're looking at a seven, eight hour job to get it completed, and spoiler alert, it's not completed. Again, we can see the, the, the work in progress artboard I have, mm -hmm. and what do you think, 45% done? Yeah, maybe. I mean, you don't have backgrounds on any of them, though. So. Yeah, no backgrounds, no background colors, no, uh, what's the dialogue, right. no words. Yeah. So let's think, what would be the dialogue here? Thanos, I've come to bargain, <laughs> and I've brought this wolf. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. I, I mean, I don't know, because Taylor Swift is involved. Like, I'm here to, to avenge... Taylor Swift's, uh... Yeah, maybe, again, well, I think actually our inset is uh, blocking the shot of Taylor Swift on the page on mm -hmm. this video. Right. But let, maybe let's imagine, like, Taylor Swift is in his head and he's thinking about, like, I gotta do it for Taylor Swift. Right. Like, she got dusted. I wanna be your endgame. Yeah, well, you know what? That may have been <laughs> what I was thinking. It's just that song. That might have been right. the reference I was making. I'm thinking probably. Sometimes, yeah. I like, mean, hopefully I didn't sing it too much of it get us in trouble. Gosh, I, I hope not. But uh, we're getting close to the end. There's about another minute here, but any final thoughts on this or Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange? Um, gosh, I don't know. Uh, he seems he seems like a fine Doctor Strange. I don't know. Like, what are your thoughts? You read the comic book. I didn't. My only, um, my only knowledge of the character is through him playing Doctor Strange. I think he made me a Doctor Strange fan. Oh, good. So let's just, let's end it with that. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe. Right down below. All right. And we'll see you next time. Bye.